So the next topic I will be discussing is telehealth technology for older adults. In this section, the objectives are that the learner will be able to understand the technical requirements to engage in a video visit as a patient and as a provider. The other objective is that the learner will be able to understand how to prepare for a video visit and what to expect as a patient and as a provider. Okay, so as a provider, the technical requirements that you will need for telemedicine can be as basic or as complex as the physician or organization chooses. So there are some basic things that you will need and then there are some other choices that are nice but are not absolutely necessary. So the basic needs include a secure broadband internet connection, so that obviously controls the video quality. Um, you will need a secure video connection platform, so these are usually offered by third-party vendors. And you will need technical support in case there is some sort of technical hiccup or issue that will mess up your clinic day. So it's really good to have technical support throughout your day if possible. Some other things that you can add to this that are nice are potentially a recording device. This is sometimes included in the secure video connection platform and integrated into that. You might want a recording device to record portions of the interaction with a patient. Um, sometimes you will also want to have peripheral and video assist devices that you can, inter uh, you can integrate into the secure video connection platform. So some examples of that are video otoscopes, electronic stethoscopes, and high definition video cameras. So this is a typical setup for a provider in their home or in their office. So usually the provider will have two monitors. One monitor will be for looking at the patient and the other monitor will be for looking at the patient chart. So this is a very typical setup. Now the technical requirements as a patient are usually very basic. So as a patient, you will want to have a strong internet connection. Um, I often tell patients you can go to speedtest.net to check your internet speed. And as a patient, you will want to aim for at least 50 megabytes per second download speed and at least five megabyte per second upload speed. I often tell patients if, if their Wi-Fi speed is not good enough, they can use their ethernet connection. Um, they can also use cell phone data plan as well. As for hardware, patients can often use a desktop computer, a laptop computer, a smartphone, or a tablet. And your provider should let you know which one of those things you can use because some of the video platforms will only use a smartphone and some of them will require that you can only use like a laptop or a desktop computer. Your provider should also let you know which operating system the software supports and you will need a camera and microphone. Usually that's not an issue because most modern phones and computers will include this, but if not, you may need to purchase an affordable external microphone or camera. So this is a potential, like a very basic um, setup or what to expect for the patient. So if you're gonna be having your telemedicine visit at home as a patient, the first picture would be kind of what you would expect. So if you're at home, you will likely receive an email or text message with a link which you can click on, or you may need to download an app. Once you log in or click on the link, you may be placed in an online waiting room until your provider is ready to speak to you. At that point, it's basically just you speaking into the video and looking into the camera. Um, another a more complicated setup is if you end up going to a clinic and in that setting, you will be going into appointment just as if you're seeing your doctor as you normally would. A nurse will take you into the room where there is a monitor and a camera. The nurse may make sure that you are set up adequately for the appointment and the doctor can see you and you can see the doctor. Um, they will also make sure that they can assist you with certain devices that may be needed during the visit, such as um, an otoscope or an electronic stethoscope. Thank <laughs> you.